basic version of the app, the first thing we, th we did was turn off all the security inside the Firebase database. Here we've got the working app. Now let's just see what happens if we turn on the security back in Firebase but don't make any changes to our app. Here we are back at the Firebase database and if we click on the rules section we can take these rules that we had previously set to turn off all the security and put them back to the way they were. Here I've published the new rules, putting the rules back to their default state where authorization is required to access any of the data. Now let's run the app again and see what happens. With the app now coming up online, we see that the images are no longer loading. In fact, the entire app appears to have frozen here because we have got access violations with Firebase. If we look at our console, we can see that there was a permission denied error, which is exactly what we were expecting. So clearly we need to make some changes to our code so that it can authenticate itself as a legitimate user so that we can get back to getting access to our Firebase data. To get our code to authenticate, we're going to use the authentication token mechanism. So from our Firebase database, we need to find the token and install it in our code. We're going to click on this wheel and click on Project Settings, Database, and then we see that the database secrets are revealed inside these dots. By clicking on the Show command, we can reveal the hidden token. We're going to click on this little tab here, which copies the token to the computer clipboard and then we're going to come over to our code and we're going to install this as a constant in our app. Uh, I've used the private static final constant because I don't want other classes to have access to this token. Once we have this token defined it's a simple matter of adding one additional line of code to the Firebase code that we had before in our initialize method where we basically take that token and call the authorization method on Firebase. This additional argument here allows us to have a callback function that contains information about our authorization, whether it was successful or not. We see that the app takes a second to load, but once it does so, we once again have access to all of our data. Mm -hmm.